Welcome to the Free Academy and thanks for tuning in to this video. Today I would like to talk a little bit about the navigation cube. You see the navigation cube on the top right of the screen. It's a cube that can be used to hover around your model to set the appropriate camera angle for your model and I often work with it but uh, there is one issue. Um, as you might know, I don't rely on the standard FreeCAD color scheme. I have a heavily adjusted color scheme with this very light gray background. Um, my background, I can show it to you under Edit Preferences, Display Colors. You will see the background color here is a simple color, no gradient. I have red, green and blue values 245, which is a very, very light gray, almost white screen. Okay, and then we get the problem with the navigation cube because these arrows are almost not visible around the cube. So if you check display, navigation you see that there is a tab for the navigation cube you can enable or disable the navigation cube at all you can even change its size you see the cube size is 164 with me it's slightly larger than standard and you can select where it should be displayed under the display navigation preferences, there is no option to change the color for these arrows. So I connected to Uwe Stör, a FreeCAD developer, and told him my problem that with my color scheme, it's almost not possible to see these arrows. We messaged a little bit back and forth. And Finally, Uwe came up with a great solution and I'm going to show you this solution now. So the first thing you need to do, you need to select tools, edit parameters and under edit parameters, you have to go to preferences. Under preferences, you go down to the Navi cube and here you see um, two parameters which is only the cube size and the rotate to nearest. We need to come up with a new parameter. We make a right click and select new unsigned item. Now we have to set a name for this unsigned item button capital color. Okay. And then we have to enter a number. I'm giving you now my suggestion for the number and then I'm telling you how to come up with the number. So the number that I'm going to insert here, it is 11477759999. Okay, save to disk and close. And now you see that we have a slight blue shaded arrows and cube menu here. So this is not magic and the number has a reason. And if you want to know more about the number, you have to go to the FreeCAD documentation and you have to select wiki.freecad.org navigation cube. Then you scroll down a little bit to customization. And here you see everything that I have just done to change the cube layout. You have to go to the parameter editor, base app preferences, navi cube. And there you have a selection of values that you can create. For example, the button color, which I just changed, but you can also change the border color, the lines that are separating the cube faces, the font color, also all cube faces, the highlight color. So when I mouse over the cube, the highlight color and the text color. It's a little bit more complicated as these color values have to be um, included as hexadecimal digits for transparency, red, green, and blue, and not as this format here. So you cannot come up with FF323232, for example. You have to transform this value to a 32-bit unsigned integer. 
And fortunately, in the documentation, we find a good link to a converter here. So this one here, you have to go to 32-bit unsigned integer here, and then you have to enter your hexadecimal value here. I choose this color here, 4469ABFF, which is a light blue color with a transparency of 44, which means it is slightly transparent. And then the program comes up with this long number, the 11477759999, and that's the number that I entered here in my FreeCAD parameter editor. So there is this number. So feel free to tinker around with it a little bit, but maybe if you choose my background color, my light gray background color, you are already satisfied with this nice blue setting. So I hope this video gave you some new insights and was helpful for you. Thanks a lot for your ongoing support and see you soon in the next FreeCAD video. Goodbye, my friends.